Okay, so today I wanted to give you some tool if you're watching this channel. Why uh, did my path guided me to emotional intelligence? Well, I was a wreck. I was emotionally thrown left to right all the time. I was um, thinking a lot. I was a thinker. I was an achiever and I was being thrown left to right by my, my emotion. I had no control whatsoever on emotion. They took me over entirely and uh, that created a lot of conflict around me, a lot of suffering and a lot of guilt, shame, because after an outburst of anger, I totally saw that it was irrational. And then I had to say, I am sorry, I did it again. And it became very, very shameful. I, I became ashamed of doing this. And so it was a uh, deep suffering. <clears throat> On my path to freedom, what we truly are, our infinite nature, the natural state of being, I had to learn about feeling my feeling, allowing myself to feel feeling, revealing what was hidden in them, and dealing with emotion intelligently, being awake to the emotional body. So I did gather knowledge, experiential practice that can support anyone who's taking, is being taken on a ride by emotional suffering. When we are in emotional suffering, we may not recognize that there is thought and belief that are hidden in this emotion. And while we suffer these emotion, our creative energy is depleted. We are all creative being. Every one of us has access to infinite creativity, infinite love, infinite joy, infinite bliss, infinite peace. But when we're taking on ride, when we're taking on rides of emotional roller coaster, we're not connected to that creative energy. And any type of belief about limitation will block us from being guided by intuition in, in the heart. So before manifesting anything or wanting, before creating consciously your life, it's really a good practice to be awake to your emotional intelligence. Anger would usually say it's not fair. I can never do what I want. Grief will say I had something and I lost it. Shame, I'm not worthy of receiving this. I'm not worthy of effortlessness. Apathy, total resignation. There's nothing I can do. Depression. So emotions are saying things. The things that they're saying, they're not true. But if they run on your, under your radar, and you feel only feel the turbulence of those beliefs and thoughts. So my work with awakening your emotional intelligence is really empowering you to deal with emotion consciously and to reveal the unconscious that is creating suffering. So one of the practice you can start to implement right away in your life if you want to, if you're devoted and dedicated to living from an awake perspective and standing in your power and following your heart at all times. 
even when the manifestation is silent, if you create something and there's no response from the field, your capacity to be at peace, even while there's no response, is your power. But that requires being able to feel your feeling. As you feel the feeling, there is more trust. And then you don't need the reflection of the outside world to feel good. You don't need the apparition of the manifestation that you want to create to feel good. So you create for the joy of creating in trust, in conviction. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. If it's not, it's not. There's no more um, suffering around nothing is happening. What will happen if I do nothing or if I'm effortless and if I just rest in peace while I am available? So one of the good practice you can bring in your life is what does it say about me, this reflection? If you get a reflection, um, not a reflection, if you get an emotional charge about a situation, it's not really the situation that is triggering you. It's the belief that you have about yourself that this situation is triggering in you. So if you turn it around, what does it mean about me, this situation? What does it say about me? Let's say someone is not showing up to an appointment. And it's if it's triggering, what does it say about me? And you find the deficiency story that you tell about yourself that is making this situation triggering for you. Because the situation is just a situation. It has nothing to do with you. But if there's a trigger underneath, then there's a meaning. You give it meaning about you. If, if it doesn't have any meaning about you, it doesn't trigger you. It doesn't mean that you're not going to correct the situation. You can course correct. You can tell the person, look, if you don't show up, I don't refund. Or I don't like it if you don't show up. You know, situation happen. Maybe the person will say, well, I totally forgot or... Anyway, you know you can deal with the situation with, as an adult. And if it triggers suffering, then there's something underneath it. So what does it say about me? Maybe the story is I'm not respected or I'm forgotten or I'm not important. And when you find the belief, then you can find the emotion attached to it. So you somatically allow yourself to feel the feeling of that story. I'm not important. So underneath that, there is maybe sadness, anger, or frustration. And if you allow yourself to feel the feeling and just acknowledge by the presence of what you truly are, this presence of awareness, I see you, sadness, anger, I hear you. There's space for you here. And you allow the vibration of the energy to move in your body. It's just a vibration frequency moving in your body. And you totally open yourself totally to feel it. That will dissolve the belief. I'm not important. That will obliterate the belief. But it's the last thing we want to do as human being. We don't want to... We usually are avoiding, resisting, rejecting, suppressing, not addressing, thinking, overthinking. Thinking is an avoidance of feeling. If you're always thinking, thinking, and you wish to have a calmer mind then accept to feel what you feel when you stop thinking. Because that's, the, that's an avoidance too, overthinking. So this is the basis of my work with my online course, Awaken Your Emotional Intelligence. And you can start to use it 
just a tool that I gave here. And if that resonates for you, then I suggest you join the community that I've created. You have, as part of the community, for the first month, you have video that is guiding you through this process of awakening your emotional intelligence. And that is super empowering for your life to unfold in abundance, love, joy, effortlessness, peace. And it's all lined up in a course that I created while I was doing it for myself. So it's experientially, I directly experienced the teaching. I directly experienced the benefit and I still do. If you are devoted to truth, to know who you are, to live from your infinite nature, to live from intuition, to follow your heart, to disembark the game of limitation, then that is for you. I'll post the link below for the community. If there is one participant that joined, there will be one meeting per week. So you may be the lucky one if you join and I can guide the session for awakening your emotional intelligence. And there's plenty more in the community. There's a course about the five kosha to know the five modes of experience for you to live more with the flow and less in the mental realm. Mental, very practical, but too much of it is a joy killer. So <laughs> effortless being the wisdom body is something I can guide you to recognize in yourself and to live more from there. And um, the third module is about consciously creating our life. Embarking on the most magnificent journey of being an active participant that is consciously creating. Instead of unconsciously creating suffering, you consciously align your life with the song in your heart. Okay, so I hope to see you there and good luck with the tool. Bye-bye.